Hey guys, welcome back to the layout once again. Today we have another layout update, and uh, I think the most obvious thing that you'll notice, and what we're going to talk about first, is the fact that I've got the fascia and the valence all painted black. Um, and I think it looks great. This is just a, a flat black paint. Uh, it's the cheapest I could find uh, from Olympic, but it looks really good, and um, yeah, I like the finish. There's a bit of sheen to it, even though it's flat. Uh, but it's it's a good amount. It's not too flat, so I don't think it'll scratch up too easily. Um, it's just right in the middle, and uh, you can see how much of a difference that really makes. So, uh, in terms of the layout appearance on the you know the the outward looks of it, um, discounting scenery, uh, we're pretty much all the way there. Uh, aside from a few places to touch up, like I've got to put uh, some panels on the front of that and on the drop bridge, but I still have some wiring to mess around with, so I'm gonna hold off there. Um, there's a couple other places around the layout too, like if I turn around um, over here, I have done the span on this drop down section. I have not done that over here, and I've still yet to hide the uh, cables and all that. I gotta pin those up somehow. Um, and of course this needs to get painted. So really it's, there's still quite a bit of uh, painting to do, especially when you consider the uh, backdrop in some places, but uh, overall I'd say we're probably like 75% done. Um, another thing I've been working on is I routed, uh, you know, for a while I had the uh, the power cords to my light overhead lights just kind of hanging down in the layout, so I've got those routed up and over the valence, and what I'm going to do is get one of those uh, cable conduits or the you know the cable channels uh, like you see along baseboard sometimes and I'm gonna do one of those across the ceiling so it'll just be a, a white strip that'll blend in with the ceiling and it'll just keep that snug up against the, uh, the ceiling there so that'll be good and then um, yeah I guess we'll just walk over here you can see more of the same but it definitely looks quite good in my opinion so um, that's really all I've been working on. I've been traveling quite a bit as well, so that's why it's taken a while for the last or for this update to be uploaded. Um, but one other thing I've also done is, if you look down below here, I have made a sort of control cabinet for all my DCC electronics. Uh, I don't have any of the circuit boards yet for like signaling and uh, turnout control, block detection, all that stuff. Uh, I've yet to purchase those actual circuit boards, but I at least have this box built so that I can organize all those components. And uh, you can see at the top there that I have um, a bunch of terminal uh, poles. So that's 48 terminal poles. Um, and then on the base then, I have those two silver boxes are my LED power supplies. Back in the corner with the flashing lights is the ESU cab control command station, uh, the red light box there that is the 7 amp power supply and then I have all the power cords routed back behind and then over to a power strip off to the right and right now all I have uh, in terms of electrical connection is uh, the single bus line uh, for power coming from the command station as well as power for my uh, programming track right here so that's going up to the terminal strip and what I'm working on now is getting all of my uh, isolated sub buses routed from around the layout and I'm bringing them back to this terminal strip and tying them in. Uh, and then I also have a number of other sub buses which will be non-detection detection sections uh, and that's what I have over here. So most of the layout will be uh, operating with block detection so I can eventually get the signaling system going. So that requires me to, uh, for every block, I need to isolate that track section uh, so I have uh, the power buses that go to those track sections also isolated from each other and that's what I'll be hooking up up above and then eventually when I get those control electronics then you know the lower half of that terminal strip will have wires that correspond to each of the buses and those will hook up to uh, all of our block detection units and then that'll be connected with the signaling and turnout control and all that so uh, I will have plenty of videos on how I'm organizing this and setting it up and powering it and wiring it. Um, so there will probably be an entire video series on that. I'm mean, really not that far into setting this up, so I'm going to get a little more work done and then you might see uh, the first video on what I'm doing here. But I don't want to don't bore you in this layout update and get 
too in depth, but essentially that's what I'm doing right now is just going around the layout and uh, cutting up and installing any extra sub buses that I need for block detection. And you'll see one cool thing is uh, I have a number of those buses and cables coming through the wall there. Um, and it's sort of a mess when it's up above the benchwork, but then I cut up a uh, light diffuser panel and put that, sort of zip tied that onto the benchwork. And now all of my wires funnel through uh, that light diffuser, which is basically just a, an open grid. And then all my wires and cables are organized when they come to the terminal strip. So that's a cool little thing I tried and it's working out quite well. Um, so anyway, that was a little project there that I have been working on and will continue to work on. And then, uh, excuse me, let me wipe off the camera. And then if we turn around, one final thing to talk about um, is I got a number of things for sale. Uh, so I'm actually, I'm selling uh, this SD70 Mac that I've weathered. Uh, I really like the weathering job and I love these units, but you know, sometimes I just get bored and wanna pick up new power, so I'm selling that. It's already been sold. And then if we turn this way, I have a number of weathered cars. Um, this bulkhead flat car, these two grain cars here, and then this auto rack are all for sale on my eBay page. Actually, take it back. This guy actually sold. I meant to say those four cars I just weathered, and then these two grain cars plus the bulkhead are for sale on my eBay page. So uh, I'll have the link in the description, so go check that out if you're interested. Um, I did a little graffiti on the end of this guy, and then you can see uh, I painted the deck to make it look all rusty and beat up. Um, under frame is weathered, of course, as well. And I did the wheel sets to sort of simulate that it's rolled through a hump yard recently, so the, the wheel faces have been wiped off. And then uh, over here, uh, nothing special, just a general dusting, weathering, um, repainted one of the hatches on top. And then same deal over here, this is pretty light weathering, but it turned out quite well. Did a little bit of uh, sort of blackening on the roof there. I see that a lot on these BNSF hoppers, so uh, that looks pretty cool. And then uh, this auto rack here, I uh, did some airbrushing and powders on that, and then I did the... Uh, decal graffiti on both sides, a little bit of rust spots on this end. Uh, so those are all for sale. I'm sort of getting back into the uh, custom rolling stock game. I haven't for a while, but I'm trying to, you know, fund a little bit of the uh, layout so that I can keep moving along. Um, so hopefully this will help. Uh, and actually, it's interesting, I did the decal graffiti on this thinking it would go a lot faster. Uh, this car here, I actually, I painted that, and it took forever, and it was kind of, uh, I enjoyed it, but it seemed like it was a huge time investment. But after doing this, I mean, the amount of times I had to go over the decals with Microsol just to get them to get around all the uh, the corners and the ribbing there, it took so long that I might as well in the future just hand paint graffiti um, and just continue that. So anyway, uh, as I mentioned, those two cars are for sale, as well as that bulkhead um, on my eBay page. That is, uh, the link is in the description. And uh, other than that, that's really all I've been up to. Uh, I have a, a few rail fanning videos I might upload in a couple days. And as I mentioned, expect to see some videos on the uh, DCC wiring and uh, you know equipment setup, all that good stuff. And then uh, once I get all the power buses hooked back up, I'll have some uh, trains running on the layout once again. So expect maybe a small little operating video. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. So if you guys have any questions, as always, feel free to leave those below. Uh, but that's all I got. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.